Yo, what up, man? It's Dope Man, the body of God, and right now you kicking it with Space City Collective right in the southeast. You're now kicking it with Space City. That's right. Yo, yo, what's going down? It's that boy T, the screwed up SA, and you now kicking it with Space City Podcast. What's going on, guys? Appreciate y'all tuning in. We're kicking it with Space City. I'm your host, Chino. I'm Gio. This is Mitch. Your boy, Miguel, old fam. Let's go. TikTok sensation. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. So, obviously, this is a podcast with sneakers. First question is always sneaker question. Like, what got you into... Because you've been collecting sneakers for a minute. Yeah, I started collecting sneakers. What got you? Like, what was that first moment when, like... So, luckily, I I was blessed enough. My mom... Growing up, I've been wearing Jordans since elementary. Yeah. My mom Same. was able to afford one, one a year, though. Same. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Up until, like, sixth grade, though, once my foot was, like, a man's size, she couldn't afford Jordans no more. <laughs> but I got two pairs of Air Forces. <laughs> <laughs> the whites. But, yeah, and then I, I stopped wearing Jordans because, like I said, they got expensive. And then 2012, my senior year, started making my own money. And then I, I think my first pair of Jordans then was the Stealth 3s. Y'all know which ones those are? They're still, they're gray. Yeah, they're gray, they're gray, gray. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of red on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I got those, and then from then I started collecting again. So 2012. So 2012, yeah. right after you graduated. Yeah, yeah. Deal. Right after I graduated. Nice. Um, Where'd wh- you graduate from? I graduated from Dobie, Dobie High School. Nice. So you know this guy? Yeah, I've known Mitch. I've known Mitch since like my junior. Well, yeah, year. I went to like no, school together. A little longer, right? Longer? Yeah. So, no, you said your freshman year. Yeah, yeah, something like oh, that. Oh, you're older than yeah. You're yeah. my age, right? Yeah, I'm 29. Okay. He's a hundred. My age. <clears throat> yeah, I thought you were a little older though. I'm, t- I'm class of t- 2012. Just, yeah, because you just mature and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> mature. <Matures, laughs> right? He's a teacher, dog. That's I one, know. Right? Uh, Mitch was trying to train everybody in boxing <laughs> high school. <laughs> 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 a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Mitch was that friend that would bring boxing gloves to just a random party, <laughs> have them on his neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never went to parties. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. um, when did you start realizing like? You started doing numbers on, like, TikTok. And so I started TikTok after the whole hat thing. Um, I was late to TikTok. I downloaded TikTok, and uh, my FYP was full of uh, other TikTokers that did hats. And um, and I was like, and at the time, I was still living with my parents, so I was getting, like, two or three hats in a week. <laughs> and I was like, man, I'm going to start doing unboxing. So I started with just, just unboxing. Yeah, yeah, when you cut it. I, I wouldn't even show my face, you know what I'm saying? Like. I would just show that uh, box, open it, show the hat, and then one video went viral. It was the one where you're dancing like Spanish. The <laughs> nah, no, that one went viral. Too, yeah, right? no dancing yet at this point. <laughs> no dancing has been done yet. It was off camera. Uh, yeah, this one was still like uh, I don't even think my face was still in oh, this for one. Real? Yeah, it was the uh, y'all yeah, remember the Alma Manier Astros hat? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it has Astros spelled out right? No. Nah, it's like a it's the H, the star, uh-huh. but it's got like extra stitching around it oh, and it says i'm on my ear right here but uh anyways i i did that one unboxed it i curved it and then i think it hit like eighty thousand views and that was on tiktok yeah I, li- I literally woke up and like uh like people i hadn't even talked to were like hey bro like my friend just sent me your tiktok uh i was it, 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 like i said it blew up like yeah. probably like eighty thousand views and then from there i was like okay i want to start like taking this a little, yeah like a little bit serious because yeah, yeah, it, it yeah. was cool like, I had went from, like, 200 followers to, like, 1,000. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, in a day. I went viral one time on TikTok, too. It was, like, I literally just cut off the StockX tag mm. of a shoe, on a shoe. Yeah. And I was, like, please stop wearing these. <laughs> and that shit got, like, half a million views. And I, I gained, like, 2,000 followers. And this was on TikTok or On Instagram? TikTok. On TikTok. Oh, okay. I feel I like it was easier th- back then, though, to go viral, right? Well, I don't know. If you're not consistent, they're weird, not going right? to start. TikTok um, lately has not. Uh, well, my views have been terrible lately. Mine too. Terrible. I like, just stopped doing it. That's how their voice. Yeah. <laughs> Once you like, you're out of the algorithm, then it's hard yeah. to get back in there. I guess. It's hard, yeah. I don't know how that works, but. So you think if you just go a couple of days without posting, it doesn't pick up your stuff as much? No, I think a couple of days is fine. I think once you, like, after a week, because I don't post every day. I post, like, every other day or every two or three days sometimes. And It's hard know, to be consistent on there. It's hard, bro, especially, like, you know, outside of social media, I live a very normal life. I work two jobs mm-hmm. Monday through Friday, you know. So TikTok itself is, like, another, another job, like another job man. And, 
it's hard to find time for it. How many followers do you have right now? Currently, I'm at 26.3, so 26,000. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, when was it, what's the last video that did well? You say you've been kind of like yeah, weird. it's bad. Yeah, my views have been terrible. I think uh, I did a just a um, an unboxing, um, unboxing. of a Liz hat. And what about that one that we got like a million views on that Mexican oh, yeah. dancing one? Where you're dancing no. Mexican? Was it Peso or was it no? So Fuerza that one, Regia? I don't know what song it was. My video that blew me up was uh, curving the Mexico hat. Yeah, the Mexico. Yeah, hat. yeah, yeah. I wasn't dancing. You weren't dancing? <laughs> but what song did it have? It was uh, uh, Peso Pluma, Ella Baila Sola. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that one hit 2 million views. And I went uh, from... Be- that's the best one so far? <laughs> yeah, 2 million views. And then I think I was at like 7,000 followers. And then that video shot me up to like 20K in like a week. Damn. Like uh-huh. a week. Yeah. Damn, so that... Most of my followers are yeah. because Damn, of that video. Cool. Yeah. All it takes is a good one, huh? Yeah, li- that's what everyone kept telling me. And I was like, well, man, it hasn't happened for me yet. And then well, I posted that one, bro. Like, it was crazy. It was just, yeah. it was just like, Seeing bro, the traction. my followers was just, like, blowing up, bro. It was, it Did was, they ever start paying you? Or? So uh, I just recently started getting paid from TikTok. But it's not much, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's you got to like get a, so many. It's, right? like a it's, crea- like it's a creator program that I joined. And uh, you get paid per video. Um on videos that, but I can't use a sound. I can't use music on that my videos. That shit sucks. So, yeah, you gotta make those good ones. We had to change our Space City Collective, like from a business to an entrepreneur. Yeah. That way we had we could use. Because like, I noticed, like on my personal one, I can use whatever music. Yeah. And then I know I try like you know you can put like athlete, you can put like customer retail or whatever. I I forgot what I was looking at, and I was like, they have a shoe store too, and they're posting videos. Then I looked at their thing and it said entrepreneur on the on the bio. Oh, okay. And I changed it to entrepreneur. We changed it to entrepreneur and it like lets you. This for TikTok or Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. Oh, okay. But I don't know what difference it makes. Like that's um, where we got the most like, cool, like I guess popularity on Instagram. Yeah. I know you're you've been like, trying to work on Instagram too. You're like at 18k or something like that, right? We're 21.4 21. now. That's crazy. We have this little kid Woody that came in, and we we traded a pair of shoes for like five packs of gum. Yeah, <laughs> we basically gave him the shoot. That shit got 100k views. Oh wow! This is just <clears throat> recently, right now, it's still blowing up. Yeah, I had, uh, the first one I have posted with Woody on Facebook, mm-hmm. just on Facebook, like did like 300,000, 330,000 on Facebook. That's that's hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't put nothing on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's get hard. like two views on Facebook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two likes. Thing, yeah, he, he, the little kid Woody, he like, and it went so controversial because the first time he came in here, like, he came in here, like, he was on some hustler stuff, which yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm, I don't mind talking about it on camera, but he, like, he's just one of those kids that p- your parents tell you, hey, go sell chicle or like ice cream, or mm-hmm. he'll go, he'll go to Sam's and buy ice buy the, cream yeah. and come sell it to us for three dollars a pop. As he's taxing us. But I mean, it is what it is. Like we do, we do the same thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he came in here. He's like, "Hey, uh, he's like, I'll give you these ice cream for these pandas." And I was like, "What did you say?" He's like, "Ice cream for 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 pandas." And he was so he was, was so it tripped out with ice cream. He was it so was tri- a box. It was a box yeah. of them. Uh, it was probably like twenty dollars with ice cream. <laughs> like, what? Them polar ices, bro. No, the ices, oh, okay. icy brand with the polar bear. Hey, so and this I, dude was tripped out, I so tripped out on what he said. They started recording him. He's like, Nah, I told right? him. I was like, Say that again. I was like, I was like, I was like, Hold on, bro. I was like, I was like, Say that again. And he, like, I, I put him and I started recording him. And that's when he was like, Hey, uh, I'll trade you these ice creams for these Georgians or some pandas. And I was like, Damn, this kid's like legit. Like he's he's, tri- he's serious. He's serious. <laughs> oh wow. And so I respect it. And I was like, Look, bro. I was like, I made the video. I didn't give him nothing. Yeah, we, we ended a video with like. We ended up buying. Like, I'm gonna have to pass on that. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, nah, I'm gonna have to pass, cause like not like that, but why should I give you free shoes? Like, yeah, basically like, free shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I uh, posted that, and I was like, I, that day I was like, the, the day he was here, I told him, bring me your grades, and maybe I'll give you some free shoes. Like, mm. if you can, maybe you show me passing grades. I like that. Yeah, if you show me passing grades, maybe I'll give you some shoes. And he was like, all right, all right, all right. and then. So how old uh, is this kid? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So I was I was twelve and I was just like him, like bad and just like 
Just trying to hustle, yes. trying to make some money. Going around selling ice cream. Nah, I never. I, I sold. Nah, I never sold. But the rate, <laughs> the point was that people started like getting, they were mad at us. They're like, yeah. you should have just gave them the shoes and all that shit. Like it was just. His people, there's shoes. always gonna be people like that out there. Yeah, but, but that actually blows up your content yeah. when people like comment bad and Hate, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like everybody's like, oh, you should, you shouldn't have did that boy like that. They were like, uh, send me his name. I'll, I'll buy the shoes for him. Mm -hmm. I have people telling me I'll sell you right now, and I didn't accept they any They never zelled. No, nah, I, 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 I didn't <laughs> no. accept any zelled. That's like, kind of like on that. my video that went viral. Like, I think it got over, over a thousand mm -hmm. comments, and it was a lot of hate, too. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of hate. Like, people hate on cur yeah, curving the brims. So, like. There's Astros haters? Astros haters. <laughs> I mean, uh, pins. People don't like the pin thing. So. It was a lot of people talking mess, but two million views. But I, then yeah. I, I, I literally texted him and I was like, um, "You should have just gave him the shoes, like, because now people are gonna get mad at us." Yeah. And he was like, "I was like, hey, no, but was you can't always expect the handout, you know what I'm saying?" And no, then, a lot of people were like, "Well, you taught him a good lesson that yeah, day." Like, was, yeah, it was on both sides. It was both. Yeah, mm -hmm. there was some realistic people, and then there was just like those Karens, like, just give him the free shoes. He's a kid. I was like, so I can't run my business off emotion off feeling bad for a kid if that was the case i'd be giving kids out sh shoes every day yeah man. but he showed me like he's a he came back trying to sell me more stuff his sisters came they're like yeah he, hey, like he, he's passing all his he's doing better i was like i'm gonna bless this kid so yeah, we traded a pair of jordan fours for some pieces of gum <laughs> yeah so, <clears throat> so you want a piece of gum <laughs> <laughs> so how like we haven't done a pop up here in a minute. Like mm -hmm. remember when y'all first started doing like the ninety three drops? Mm -hmm. Y'all would do the pop ups. Have y'all yeah. y'all anything planned or? Uh, so the last pop up we did, I think, was uh, what exclusive elements. Yeah. But uh, just in general, we're we're did they y'all collab? Huh? Did y'all collab or? No, what? we just we just sold our new shirt okay. there. We just Good. we just popped up. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Don't get I, I was scared a little say that. I was saying. <laughs> I'm nah, but uh, nah. Just in general, we just decided to just <laughs> yeah, yeah, take a break. Uh, y'all know AB like personally and um, uh, yeah. Boyo or yeah. Yeah, 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 I do. Okay. I have a good relationship with them. But now, nah, just in general, pop ups, it it's just a lot of work. And they yeah, they get tiring, yeah, yeah. and I think for us, man, we were doing pop ups like so much, kind of got burnt out on pop ups. Yeah, you know? for, for sure. Look, this is the video right here. For the people watching at home, he's w showing Miguel the Woody video. You see him like he's stressing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> but look, 383k, bro. That's insane for Facebook. Yeah. So I followed up on it. I already had a plan. Like I'm, I'm pretty decent at like content creating. I was like. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this video, and then there's gonna be a follow-up part two where like at first I'm gonna not diss him because I didn't diss him, but I'm gonna decline his offer his yeah. offer <laughs> of the ice cream, and then the next time he came in uh, I, I did it, but I had already had it planned, and then we came in here I was like hey look let's let's do part two, and the kid was down and yeah, what he's famous now. <laughs> he's who's <really> famous. <laughs> nah, That's what real. you want. Have you tried doing like YouTube or anything like that? No, I haven't dabbled with YouTube at all. Why? Like at all. That's I, where the money's at. That is where the money's at, but I, I think... Uh, but it's hard. It's harder, and I just kind of like how quick and... You know they have shorts now. Yeah. I haven't looked into that, though. Yeah. I got like... I posted a short of Bo Bundy, like talking about like SB prices now. Like, I've seen back that. Back then yeah. That shit got like 200K views, and I, I gained like 500 subscribers off really? that one like short. Sure. Sick. Okay. But that's the only short that I've has done that well. Which one was that? When Bo Bunny were talking about the dunk SB And how do you prices, record like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. short? Is it just like a TikTok? It's the same exact thing, yeah. It's the same exact thing. Okay, I you should try it out. I like, should look into that. You just have all every, that content. Everything you post on TikTok already, go post it on like every day. Just use one that uh, is already on TikTok on and your YouTube. shit will grow. Yeah. You'll okay. get subscribers. Yeah, so I've just been trying to like gain my following on TikTok. And then transfer to YouTube, but yeah, I should Do probably start. Focus on IG, or that's more personal. No, I've been trying to build my IG now. I, and I actually, my IG was a personal account. I just decided to make it a fitted account. I didn't want to make a new one because I already had like a decent following on there. Yeah. So a start over, fuck that. Yeah, I'm like at three thousand on Instagram. Mm, nice. Yeah. 
Do you ever want to design your own hat, or do you plan? Is there any plans to do anything like that? Yeah, actually, I'll I'll say it on the podcast. Breaking news. Yeah, actually, I have a hat coming out with Big City right here down the street. Nah, uh-huh. Sick. He yeah. knows Big City. Um, I know the, the the guy. His son. I forgot his name. Uh, his son does jujitsu. Oh really? Yeah. It's the guys with the ha- hair. He has like hair. I'm not <laughs> white guy, like shaggy hair. Is it this location yeah, or Sharp Town? Oh, for real? Now, yeah, actually, I submitted, uh, or I, I got with the designer for Big City. So, shout out to him. His name's Job. Okay. And uh, he designs. Mo- Have you came up with, like, the colors and all that? Yeah, it's already, uh, I guess, it land. It's already been, like, a three month process. With friends and family? <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. For real. Nah, but, uh, you ain't going to have me standing in line. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, it should land, like, this month or December. And then I plan on releasing it in January. Damn. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so it's already in the works. It's, yeah. We need to get a new era account and just start selling hats for re- retail, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Instead of trying to resell them hoes. And I think that's where the money... I'm pretty sure Big City makes hella money, like, mm-hmm. on, hats. on hats. Yeah. Like, I the mean, profit margins probably would be good. I mean, re- they're really, like, the only ones doing it. Like, like how they're doing yeah. it. Yeah. The other stores are trying like the better generation premium yeah. goods. Yeah. They're all hey, trying to come out with dope hats. And what year or like when did like hats start coming back or like fitted? I would say like. Uh, but you're always wearing fitted, right? Or no? Uh, I wore fitted for a little or bit. You in hop high on school. the wave. Uh, man, kinda. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But like when I started wearing fitted again, I didn't know about all this. Like I didn't know about the hat clubs, uh, all these other exclusive hat stores. Um, I didn't know about it. Do you remember your first time? And when I, when I, I wouldn't say I hopped on the way because I was just at the mall one day uh, at Baybrook with some with some homeboys, and uh, we walked into lids, and I'm like, man, like, let me try on the fitted, like, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't even know what my hat size was. I tried them all on, and then uh, I put it on, and I was like, I looked in the in the little mirror, and I'm like, man, I kind of look good in fitteds. And I really what started. It was like 20. Do you remember what? Twenty. It was no. It was a basic like regular sp- uh, spring training Astros before hat before they like started. Yeah, doing it wasn't even shit. this material. It was like a like a mesh one, and uh, yeah, I bought that one, and then and that was like my only fitted for a while, and then during during COVID is when I found out hat club, hat club, and all that, and that's when uh, I started buying hats like crazy during COVID. How's your collection looking now? Uh, I got about a hundred, about a hundred hey, hats, about a hundred hats. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same. Shoes. Shoes, I got about 30. 30. Yeah, nice little, little collection, huh? Yeah. I don't buy shoes like I used to, especially since I moved out. I got I got real bills now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got a mortgage, and, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I buy, like, one shoe a year now. What? <laughs> yeah, like, one shoe a year. Just the, the good shit. Yeah, yeah, well yeah. Something, I, something I really want. Yeah. Have you ever, like, like, Talk to Hat Club directly or anything? Like uh, that? A little bit. Uh, I know their social media manager. We met that guy too. Yeah. Who, which That's one? That's Con, the white guy, tall, kind of like. Hair, shaggy. Oh, hair, Ben? Six, six, one. Benjamin? He's got like I a think big so. beard. He follows us on Instagram. We plugged him and Bo Bundy together, and that's how they came up with that design uh, that had they to be, dropped. It had to be Ben, yeah. 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 You know, that's why they. I know. Up, uh, yeah. He's got like a big beard. Hey, at bro. Dallas. He, knew, uh, he didn't even give us a hat. Bo Bundy, what's up? Yeah. Bo Bunny's hat with the one with the camo brim and mm-hmm. the silver, silver star. Right? Yeah, that one was clean. I know. I don't know why he didn't even offer me one or none. I went to the hat club event here. I was there when they I gave it to me. I was supposed to go. I had a wristband, but we had. I was literally right in front day? of them when they gave I don't it to remember. me. Remember, was it? Fine? We had a market or something. It was something because we asked three year anniversary. Oh uh, yeah, or we had something because we asked Bob Bunny to yeah, it was three year anniversary. anniversary it was. And yep. he was like, "I'm gonna be at the hat club." Event. But he ended up saying he was gonna come, and he he never did. But. That's the reason I couldn't go. We had a three-year anniversary. What was that? You had like a pop-up for that? It was here. Yeah. No, it was here. What is hey, so what about the pins? Like, when did that start coming? Like The pins that came, came later because when I first started buying hats and wearing hats, obviously, I just mm-hmm. wore them. Uh, I don't know, like, well, who started or you what started pins? it. No. Not really. To be honest with you guys, if it wasn't for, like, me doing, like, TikTok and social media, I probably wouldn't wear pins. Yeah. But like, uh, when it comes with the hat, like, and it has, like, mm-hmm. the meaning with the hat, it, it's cool, but just a random fucking. But, like, well, pins, pins are good for, like, pictures, like, when I post my hats. And, like, and when, the placement when you, you do a video <laughs> and you put the pins on, 
it's like a it's like a conversation starter. Like, you know what I mean? People ask you, oh, where's that pin from? Or mm-hmm. you know, I bought a few, but yeah, I don't but ever like, wear them. But it, it's really, just leaving them everywhere. It's really <laughs> out of it's really just out of laziness that I wouldn't wear because it's not my style. You got to put them on, yeah, take them off. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I remember people used to wear bottle caps and shit. <laughs> They'll squeeze them and oh, put yeah. them on here. Like, yeah. for real? like Corona the, bottle caps. And yeah. Shit, right? You remember? <laughs> yeah. I'm that was before. That. You were, yeah, you were, you were like doing some illegal shit if you were wearing a Corona bottle on your hand. <laughs> right? No, yeah, the pins, I mean, they're still a big thing, bro. There's, there's <laughs> creators out there that are like, have made a big name for themselves. What's the guy in our pins. DM? Pinster? Or he's, Pinster. Trying to, he's trying to drop a pin for us. Penny X. Penny X. Is it Penny X? I don't know. What he that is. he just makes pins, I guess, and mm-hmm. he he made our our logo like a little alien or what? Yeah, a little alien logo. Yeah. Um. Do you plan on going to sneaker con in Houston or? Uh, I do want to actually. Fanatics. I still don't know oh, fanatics. Um, I do. I think I know fanatics. Yeah. He sent us that. This little mock up. Okay. That'd be good for like the patch. But he does. Like, he does all kind of shoes on it. Y'all should do like an alien, like you see this pin right here? You should do an alien head. That's Texas Fitteds, right? Yeah, Texas Fitteds. He was b- going to buy Yeezy, two, uh, Yeezy 1 from us, the Grey Zen, at the Sneaker Summit. Yeah. Shout but out David. I, I'm cool with David. He ended up I not getting David all the time. Um, but yeah. Do you have a favorite fitted hat that you wear all the time? or? Uh, I don't have a favorite one that I wear all the time, but there's a couple in my collection that I know that I would never get rid of. Actually, this is one of them. Hey, okay, okay. What okay, is that okay. one? So this one's the Neapolitan. Neapolitan from Sports World. Hey, so is the hat is the hat game like like now that you wear the hats and stuff like that, and you and you bend the brim? Is there like any value after that or no? No, right? <sighs> yes. Yes. It's like, yeah. You could still uh, if the it's hat. It's like used shoes. You. It's like yeah. It's just like oh, a shoe yeah? game. So, so people buy used hats. Yeah. The fuck? Yes, bro. Absolutely. That's gross. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Some feeds, people say feeds, it feeds worse. You think? I mean, compared to your head, I mean, you're stepping on your feet. Yeah, I mean, because, like, sweat. especially, like, oh, for yeah, someone like me, and shit. like, I don't wear, my, like, my hats a lot. Like well, you I can said. get fungus on your feet and shit. Yeah, exactly. Shit. I only wear my hats on the weekends, so. <laughs> <laughs> so even, like, I got used hats that yeah. I know I could still flip for 100 Yeah, yeah. Because they're, you can't find them. So, exactly. so, but they're used, right? They're used by you? Yeah. And you can still flip them for like some good money. Yeah, easily for sure. They yeah. obviously devalue a little bit, but you can still get. Yeah. Them but the least. hats are declining, right? The resale on them. Uh, it's kind of like at a. It just depends. Yeah, they're not reselling. The like Freddy Cougars are. Yeah, see, like that one. Every now and then, hat like released. Yeah. Oh. So like the Freddy Cougar is the most recent hat that has. Has has got some value. I think the same day people were trying to flip it for like one fifty. That was tough though. That one is super tough. I you like, don't have it. Nah. I don't pay resale. Where did that one come out? Where, where I think that pro- proper. 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 You had to buy a shirt. Proper shit. has been, shout out Proper, bro. Bro, man. why is there some hats that be going for like four some, five some? Uh, Because. They either get canceled or they don't ever come out. Canceled or they released and then. It's just like sneakers. It's like, new, yeah, sneaker news, right? Im- so imagine like, Supreme come out with a hat and they just scratch the whole thing. If you get on the street, there's obviously. And plus, it's rumors that like, oh, this hat. We'll never restock again. Cause and then they restock them. Right? Yeah, and that's they the thing do with that hats. a lot with the hats. Yeah, that's the thing with hats, mm-hmm. right? Anybody can remake a hat. I heard. If you have a new era account. Mm-hmm. I heard you, know, you so can just make the exact same hat. Exact same but hat. But you can only drop it once, I think, or something like that. Man, I don't even know. That's what I thought, too, but everyone makes copies, so. Yeah. But it's all new, real new era, man, so. That scanners to Instagram. Dang, what the heck? Yeah. I always thought that there was no resale value Just as far as like a used hat to, you know what I mean? Like a used shoe, you can dang near get what you pay for, sometimes even more than what you paid for, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. I didn't know there was like used uh, hat values and like mm-hmm. markets for that. It's the same exact thing. Of I couldn't imagine having a used hat. Me neither. I could never, <laughs> yeah. I could never <laughs> imagine never buying a used hat. No, I don't think uh, like... Shops like these have used hats. No, they no, don't. Maybe the thrift. It would look weird. The thrift. But I'm saying, like, when you go to, like, pop-ups or... Yeah, you have a nice used hat. Yeah, or just... VNDS. More like more <laughs> in the groups and shit like that? Yeah, mostly in Facebook groups. People Somebody are, looking for that personal hat, right? Yeah, Facebook groups, a lot of people sell used hats. Yeah. Hmm. Light, lightly worn, it's the same thing. Lightly VNDS. worn. VNDS. Worn, worn once, worn twice, yeah. Just ran in this hole? DS, no stickers, it's kind of sus, though. Is it? 
Yeah. <laughs> like, why, why'd you take the stickers off if you didn't wear it? Yeah. If you take the stickers off, I think you wore it. <laughs> Most definitely. Dang, DS. But no what about stickers? when people were wearing the stickers? And they, when I was growing up, you wanted to keep the stickers on there, yeah. right? I, that's like. You remember when I think like, that's, that's people like, used to wear their shit straight. straight. Remember in New York? I know Diego probably has seen. He started it. Diego like started this. that. Like they'll wear it like this. Bro, I like cannot do it. Like flat not man. even low. Nah, like, they'll wear it like other way on top of their head. Not <laughs> even <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> like what? Yeah, like that's how Pop Smoke was wearing. No stickers right. and but right, <laughs> stickers was a thing at one point, right? Yeah, like yeah, it was. Or they'll even put it underneath. I was never a sticker guy though, for the like I've worn fitted because I played baseball since I was five years old, so I wore fitted like damn near my whole life, and I was never out? a fan of stickers. Yeah, no. It was yeah. just like wearing like the Nike tag. That's some shit Chino would do. Like, <laughs> I wore my my hang tag. <laughs> some of them like the uh, on the threes. Oh yeah, he'd be wearing the hang tag on his threes. I'd be like. Damn. That's some OG shit. That's all yeah, that's <laughs> we in 1989, G. Nah, I can't do the flat bills, and I got to take my stickers off. Yeah, man. You can't do the, the flat? No, sir. Nah? No. Yeah. People used to clown on me back in baseball when I would bend my fucking brim. Like, like that's the thing. Baseball, baseball players curve their heads, though. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know why these people be hating. <laughs> They're supposed to be. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Hey, but do baseball players uh, bend like their brim like with the steam? With the steam? <laughs> nah, you think, probably not. I think the uh, thing behind like the straight thing and like barely wearing it is like it looks literally brand like DS. You know what I mean? <laughs> so people might. That's probably. And they're from probably from New York. I don't see it. nothing else. Like, why would you want it so straight and like? <laughs> so you can sell it after. <laughs> sell oh it. dang, <laughs> DS. Yeah, let me get two words out of this, John. Do you have any jobs coming, like the uh, 93? With the 93, uh, well, we have a pre-order open right now for some hoodies. Okay. And it closes on Friday. This oh, Friday well, for what Black design Friday. is there? Or what? Uh, it's uh, oh, So, yeah, I do mostly pre-order? Uh, recently, yeah. yeah. That's, That's the, the way, way you don't right? sit on inventory. Yeah. But. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I think pre order is a way because you don't have to, like, just, you know what's sold. And that's yeah. It. Some right. people don't like to wait, but, I mean, I mean, I love pre orders. Like, in general, as a consumer, I love yeah. pre orders. Mm -hmm. And a lot of uh, stores for hats on, on their pre websites, they do pre orders. And I'll wait. That way you don't hold anyone, and whoever really wants it gets it. Mm -hmm. And, I, I mean, I like pre orders because, like, you kind of forget about it. And then, like, when they just, just show up, you got new clothes or a new hat. That's with the Travis merch. You yeah. wait six months, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Forgot how <laughs> <I'm trying> to <laughs> Yeah. His guild and tees. <laughs> <laughs> Taxing. Probably worse. What was your latest pickup as far as sneakers? Sneakers, my, the last shoe I bought was the threes, the white cement threes. Okay. You the Did they have another name? I'd be free. Reimagined. Yeah, I got those. This is the last mm -hmm. shoe I bought. That was like a must for me because threes are like one of my favorites. And that's the best one. I mean, yeah. I think besides I the black cement, I need it. I think. And I have those. What's your favorite shoe in your collection? Um, favorite shoe in my collection. I would probably go like bread elevens, but just because Damn, like sen sentimental. Those are one of my top. Yeah, like I graduated in those shoes. Like I've I'm always wanted bread elevens. I've always wanted bread elevens. I actually got them from here. For the LO. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Yeah, Attack yeah, like five. Yeah, I, think <laughs> I, I think they were like almost four or three something. We'd be doing three some on those. Yeah. V and D. Yeah, the, I got the the newer release. Actually, I love the higher cut. I hate the high cut. Really, I, I like it a lot more. Yeah. I can't get over that. Really. I swear. I actually <laughs> sold my 2012s oh, for nah, the new ones. That's a better pair, right? Uh, what do you think? I don't dang. Know. Well, the new ones are just like more, head like thing. stiffer, but the. I think I like the lower on like a, it just the looks Space more classic, Jam. Right? Yeah, I just I just like the lower like the Space Jam from two thousand nine. You can't beat that, you know. As far as the twenty sixteen one, I've always liked it, but I feel like the newer ones is, is growing on me a little bit more now. I don't know. I actually like the, like the higher cut a lot. I have more. a couple of high. I have the cool gray elevens. I haven't worn those. Cut. I don't know if it's because of that cut or I have uh, my cool, Space I, Jam. I have cool gray DS, elevens. Still DS. Same thing. Also, I have elevens. I don't like that hike. Y'all like the new DMPs coming out? Nah. Everybody wants them. I don't know if I can do that leather upper. I like the leather upper. I like it, right. 
I didn't think I was. I was against it until I seen it in hand. It looks tumbled and it's fine. The song is like, like yellowish already, yeah, though, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a I don't cream. know. I can't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a, it, it, like when you hold the it, the DMP in your hand. I have some. Good you're going to be like. Damn, bro. The first time you ever <laughs> held that DMP in your hand. You know what I mean? And you squeeze that, that pen and leather. You're like, dang. Like, there's something different. Real, real quick, shout out to our sponsor, Saloon Door. I ain't got one in my hand right now, but um, Gio does. This is one of my favorite flavors right that here. The Brewston, how you say it, Cogburn? Cogburn. Cogburn. With cream elves. Oh, with vanilla. Yeah, this is called what what what, Which one are you drinking? I'm drinking the Kima Supreme. That's just like a le- regular That's lager. like the, one of the most popular ones. That's like their Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> For real? That's is not, it good? Like, try this one. We got some on the fridge, but can you hand me a Kima Supreme? <laughs> Jamie? I got working after this. You gonna be driving the whip like? Why are you swinging the man? Hey, so like. tell us about you. Uh, you teach. You you're a teacher. Yeah, I teach at Adobe, and then um, I work for UPS after, man. So two jobs Monday through Friday. Oh, thank you, my man. boy, on that grind. Damn. Cog burn. I know mm. this thing. This, this what did I say? Cog burn. <laughs> I was like, what is he saying? Cog burn. <laughs> This is a, an imperial cream ale with vanilla. It's uh, different. It's not like I love like beer like that. I don't. I don't like like. I'm not a like fan. That. All I drink is ultra. I ain't gonna like that. Oh, yeah. Damn, this is <laughs> nine. I'm not gonna like that. Nine point six. This is double. You don't like Modelo? Yeah, this is nine point six. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, yeah, it, it don't taste that strong though. But it t- like, it's an acquired taste. You gotta hit it, a, uh, sip it a couple of times. Yeah, hit it. That first one is like okay. Yeah, like that. Say mm. like marshmallows type shit, huh? You're like, all right. 9.6, though. I'm finna be so feeling good. <laughs> like, you, I'm telling you, hit, you want, and they, those are, uh, like, once they get warmer, they're supposed to taste better. Heat, just as, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what uh, he said. That's no. how they make those. Warmer? Please. I want my beer cold. Yeah, please. Though. Hey, there's people that be drinking hot beer, though. Yeah, it's it supposed to hit harder. Mm-hmm. Those Mexicans so don't know. job. No, <laughs> they, they, yeah, they be having a hot beer. But, uh, like I said, I just drink Michelob Ultra. Yeah, trying to keep the calories low, you know what I mean? I that way, this doesn't get any bigger. That's what I was drinking <laughs> uh, Saturday. Hey, but Mikula Ultra, you, I, I, it takes like 30 of them hours to get drunk. I hate Ultra. You know I mean? It does not give me a buzz, and it don't taste like it's I just go with Modelo. Yeah, I, I need about eight or nine. Eight or nine? <laughs> yeah, so you need two of those. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll just go with one. Yeah, Modelo's, I'll probably do like a good eight or nine. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a whole 12 pack. He's lying. But I don't like feeling bloated, bro. That's why I stick with Ultra. Any, yeah. Anything else makes me feel so heavy. Yeah, for Fuck sure. It. <laughs> and uh, tell us about like teach teaching at Adobe, thing. like from being a student there to teaching. That must be kind of like weird, not weird, but like nah, it's surreal in a way, right? Surreal is eye opening, you know, because when I when I went there, we had dress code. Oh, they don't have dress code? No dress None? code. But y'all didn't even have dress code. Y'all had any color shirt with jeans. With jeans. Yeah, yeah. I went to Milby where I could only wear yeah, khakis and khakis jeans and a blue shirt. That, that was bro, I had to wear every green single shirt. Well, I mean, it's green still, shirt and khakis. Like, okay, me at Adobe, it's still, it's still similar because you're still, you can, it still has to be a so solid there's polo. No, no dress code? Zero yeah, dress code. Yeah, no. and it, I think it was like your senior year where they changed it to flannels, right? Yeah, yeah, you could wear like, but it still had to have a collar. Yeah, yeah, it still had to have a But it wasn't until 20. 2013 where they got rid of it all like you can nah. wear one year late <laughs> yeah no way did they get rid of it yeah. all no yeah where you can wear anything now they, they kids come to school in pajamas Shorts, and sandals pajamas. and slides like like bro they just they come however they want so what do you think of that i think it's all right definitely like our generation if we had no dress code bro we would have been like dripped out every day <laughs> yeah <you know? laughs> Like some kids, they don't take advantage of that. Like I'm like, how, how oh you, shit, like, how, how you wearing you? slides out here? Yeah, man? like I I don't know. To me, high school. Yeah, look to me, high school is like <laughs> your four years to like show out. Yeah. Because like after that, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Mm-hmm. You know, like <laughs> because you don't. You're not gonna have somewhere to go all the time. Like you're gonna get a job. Uh, you're not. You can't dress up till Saturday type shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like school is like I don't know. School is where I want we to show up. We all be dreamed of not having. Yeah, I, mean? I know. Yeah, we'll exactly. have like we'll have like you'll have. Um, I, I want to Houston can. So like you, we would have to. Uh, I see you, Mike. You would have to pay to dress on like free dress. Free dress yeah, day. you have to buy a ticket. Yeah, I have to. If so you don't have your ticket, they'll, they'll, they'll. Did you graduate from Milby? I graduated you had to buy Chavez. a ticket. I had to buy a ticket. You went to both those. You went to both. I went to both. What? I went to Milby my sophomore year. 
Bro, this whole time I thought you went to Soho. I went to Soho my freshman and junior. Yeah, so you moved. You were one of those kids. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't ever go to the school I was zoned to. I was zoned to Jones, and I just refused to go there. So why? I was using other people's and address. That's a bad school. You, you graduated from Houston. CEP, I think, right? <laughs> Where'd you go to? Hold on. <laughs> well, I graduated eighth grade from CP. <laughs> <laughs> he got a diploma from CP. So he was a bad kid. Yeah, I was. I was hey, wait, I wait. Was you said you had to pay three dollars in order for you to what? To dress. They have free dress day on Fridays. You have to pay for it. Though. You have to pay. Yeah. Like, what that's school? A scam, right? That's a scam. Houston Khan Academy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do you like that? Hold on. Hey, I bet you on Friday. Not David, your man, dog. Uh, hey, bro, Friday. I got to ask. I got to ask, though. Can you say why you went to CEP? I went multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> the first time, bro, I was in uh, it was a gym class, physical education. And I hated, like, I was one of those kids that didn't want to do gym. Like, I just didn't care for it. And, uh... We're doing jumping jacks. I had a big ass hoodie like this, and I'm doing jumping jacks. I had to, I had took my dad's uh, pocket knife to school, and like it falls out my hoodie. The coach whistles and stops class. We're doing. I didn't, I didn't realize it was on the ground, and he's like blows the whistle. He's like walks up to me like all stern and shit. And I'm just like, and then he looks at the floor. I look at the floor, and the knife is on the floor. And he's like, he's like, whose is that? I was like, I was just struggling my, like I was. It ain't mine. Like, he was like, <laughs> he's like, look, tell me the truth, and I'll just, I won't, I won't turn you in. And I was like, all right, it's mine. He's like, come to the office. Ah, just like yeah. that. So he turned to do it. He turned me uh, in, and I had to do 180 he, days. He could have let you slide. He could have let it slide. 180 he, days. That's a year. That was a like year. a prison sentence. That's a school year. Yeah, that's a school year. <laughs> school year is 180 days. Yeah. yeah, I had to do a school year, and then. You yeah. came back. And then went I back went again. back to Hartman. I went to Hartman. Okay. And then I got kicked out again for having my shirt untucked. I swear to you. Oh, wow. See, Second they had a room back then. Kids, kids, today, kids today don't know about that. Second time I went to CEP, but I was our target. Once you got out of CEP, it's like you're a jail student, so you they, go to school. You're target, bro. Yeah, you're, you're targeted. Target. The principal doesn't like want you. They don't want to deal with the you. Summit. Yeah, summit is nothing, I went to the summit. But, but, no, but I'm saying it's just When I was growing up. It's yeah, when I was growing up, Pasadena CEP, wasn't CEP. CEP is for HISD. Yeah, no, but pa- uh, back then when I was there, CEP, they Pasadena went, went there. Oh, okay, okay. For like a, a couple, of, then they went, then they created the summit. Um, so yeah, I was a target, so I, they fucking kicked me off for that. And then I got I went again in eighth grade. But yeah, you don't want to say about that one. I don't want to say about that. <laughs> Tell me after. Oh, <laughs> Dang, no, no, I remember. The I got I were, got detention at Beverly Hills. For what? Nice. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I got detention for no bill. Dang. For no bill. They used to give us detention for not shaving. Oh, not yeah. Oh, yeah. All these kids got beards, bro. They there, do? There's kids at, at Dobie look older than me. Nah. Yeah, Tattoos? Like, and full, full sleeves. And and that, too, that that's one thing I'm not used to. Is I, I, I walk around. And, what up? We're we on, we on a podcast. Now you good? Oh, we still open, though. Anyway, so yeah, that's one thing I'm still not used to because when I when we were in school, you'd have to like, tape you, that you shit. Like one or two kids with tattoos. Yeah, and it was just like a little bullshit, no, no, these kids little up. bullshit tattoos. Yeah, 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 and they had to Bro, tape it these up. These kids was... today got I mean badass work, <laughs> full sleeve. Yeah, I'm like, it's crazy, bro. They, man, why did we have it so bad back then? Like compared to. It was, man, dude, I remember going to an HSD, like, I went to Edison for HSD. Oh, and you, you could only wear, like, a white shirt if you were, like, a sixth grader. Yeah. Uh, blue, a green yeah. shirt if you were a seventh grader yeah, right. and a blue shirt if you were an eighth grader, like, every day. With khakis or blue Yeah, khakis. Yeah, yeah with khakis. not khakis, no blue. And you had to have a belt. Yeah, and you yeah. had a belt and everything. And you couldn't wear, like, red color or blue color laces type of deal. Yeah, my school, you Bro, couldn't wear Bro, HSD like, was, like, a prison. Oh, yeah, for one real. time I had black and white laces. And I got detention. Oh, that's for a that. no go. I barely heard Yeah, it's a game we weren't allowed to have. I got yeah. elementary. We weren't allowed to have. Oh, I couldn't even have a different color undershirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dang, so, so now how, like, people, they just wear anything? They wear whatever they want, man. Whatever they Is want. Is it different than when, like, you went to Dobie? Like, oh, man, it's so different, bro. I don't even want to get too much into it. What about the teachers? Do you know some of them? Some yeah, of them some teachers there? that when I went to They remember you? There. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Were you a good student? Yeah, I, I, oh, I, yeah, was, he was a good I definitely was. And Mitch can actually tell you. Yeah, he was a good I was dude. not a troublemaker. I what got, about? I got graduated with honors, all that. 
My nigga but then college, college, I don't even want to talk about that. College was just. College dropout? Tiny. <laughs> Time shit. <laughs> I got my associate's degree and okay. now I can go back. What That's about good? like, yeah. um, I don't know why in this era it's more like coming to light, but like all these like teachers, like women teachers in particular, like hooking up with students and shit. It's always been a thing though. It's always been a thing. And now there's, sure. there's internet now. So it's well, like, I think these, you think they're just getting exposed more? Or? Yeah. Teachers too are getting younger and younger. So they're I mean, closer to the kids. I don't remember you graduate, having You can graduate college at 22. So imagine being a 22 year old teacher. So all you need is a, like a bachelor's or? Yeah. But just imagine being a, uh, a bachelor's if you want to be a teacher. Yeah. Then I'm trying I, to be I a said, teacher. I'm not certified. Like I'm a, I'm an aide. I'm a teacher's aide. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you're not an ISA teacher? Yeah, I'm a high school. Damn, I bro. I think that should happen to pass the Hey, but uh, so you need a bachelor's? I heard about some teachers. There was a teacher at Adobe that went to, that was like infamous for, she was on the news. Oh, no, she was, she was at Beverly Hills. Oh, Beverly Hills. Yeah. Middle school. Yeah, but let's, let's not get into that. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking you about. You know what we're talking about. No, I don't. You know exactly what we're talking about. But yeah, I heard. Anyways. <laughs> I, I went to Beverly stuff. Hills. I love that school. How about what? Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, yeah. When you played soccer for them or what? No, they didn't have a soccer team. Back then. No. I, know, I know they had a good they football have one team. Now? I think so. No way. Yeah. Middle school's never had a soccer yeah, team. Yeah, I think Thompson and Beverly Hills soccer has soccer now. How's Dolby Sports now? I know they used to be good at football and shit. But. They always make it like all the, uh, to like the playoffs of football, soccer. What about like within like South Houston Memorial and like are they better than all them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 South Houston Memorial sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. No, okay. no, I'm playing. I mean, as you far as play sports, sports? Was. I played uh, little league baseball. baseball. Yeah. Oh yeah. Once I moved to this side of town. I, I didn't get back in. Where were you at? Lost all my confidence. Huh? Where are you from originally? Or? Uh, I grew up Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> now I grew up. Y'all, y'all ever heard of uh, Grandel Park? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. We, we used to walk there every day. <laughs> yeah, go get area of Grandel Park. We went to um, Houston Gateway Academy, which we used to walk. Okay. Literally from there. So I grew up there in that area, and then sixth grade is when I moved over here, and that's when I I lived right there. You went to PISD? Yeah, I, right here, Black, Hills? Black Hawk. Yeah, I lived on Black Hawk and then uh, went to Beverly Hills and Dobie. Going from HISD to like PISD is uh, like so different. It very, very. Yeah. yeah. HISD is definitely more hood, right? For sure. Yes. When I moved over here, <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought I was coming to like a good school or a great school. Because yeah. I was I was supposed to go to DD and Milby. Oh fuck! Oh jeez. Or they still yeah. had the kid in the yeah. head and shit like. Yeah. My mom was like, "You're not going to DD," so. Mom, that was that. Mom and stepdad got us, got us out, got us out. That's but, good. Yeah, but all my family went to movie. I'm the only one that didn't. Movie was live. I, yeah. like, I like the movie. It was, I don't know. It was like, it felt like prison. It, <laughs> something like that, <laughs> but like free. Like you're, it was. Yeah, I, I it mean, was weird. I don't know. On and PIZ, I was more like willing to go to class. Yeah. And shit. Bro, I got expelled from HISD. I couldn't go. <laughs> oh my, this dude was yeah, bad. Was right. bad. It's funny because yeah. you're so calm. Like, I am, like, yeah, yeah. He found jiu-jitsu. Did, did you like grow? I found jiu-jitsu <laughs> and it changed me. Did it really, though? I think so. He's fighting in a week. I heard two. in Vegas, huh? Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Where at? Vegas. Apex, like where, Apex. Like, Apex Center, okay. where the UFC fights are. Okay. Dana okay. White's going to be there. Are, so are, are you fighting to, like, is this? I did jiu-jitsu. Like, it's right. yeah, I get paid. Okay. As the UFC's like, um, jiu-jitsu jiu-jitsu league. League. okay. And can you potentially get signed, or are you planning to get signed? I'd or? have to do MMA to get signed. Oh, okay. But so I mean, MMA just I don't know anything about jiu-jitsu is like smart part. It's like saying you know boxing, like one martial art out of the everything that MMA is involved. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So MMA is boxing, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, everything. wrestling. Every other arts. Okay. I do just grappling. Strictly jiu-jitsu. Strictly, strictly, strictly jiu-jitsu. Okay. Strangling people. Yes, sir. But they said, like, you remember when Cam Shamrock was getting, like, choked out by <laughs> Royce Gracie and shit? Like, yeah. Royce Gracie and all the around me. He was so all jacked. At one point, jiu-jitsu was, like, if you knew jiu-jitsu, it didn't matter how big or small you were. Like, you could win the fight somehow. And but is this fight, like, a uh, weight class, too? Like 170. Like 170. And nice. it's UFC, so all the guys are. George St. Pierre is going to be commentating. Nice. He's going to be the com- literally the commentator sitting at the table watching my match. 
That's wild. Mr. That Gibbs, man. Congratulations on that, bro. Appreciate mm, for it. For real. Shout out to Dana White. We're going to have a Dana party University. when he comes back. And do you guys actually have a relationship with Dana White? Yeah, he yeah, bro. He's the one that got him that mask, low key. Because I know he's been he here. He's, him has he been in the store? No. No, no I met him. But, up. but yeah, I met him. I met him yeah. Up, yeah. Oh, man, at the hotel. But multiple times, all right? Or am I tripping? Uh, uh, once in Austin, he went. Yeah, like, Antonio, like three yeah. or four times or something. And so like, so <laughs> like, like, Dana, like, but like, if chilling. he sees you right now, like, he'll say, What's up? Yeah, for sure. Depends on where we're at. How he's feeling? Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's he, a boss. He be so acting a little grumpy sometimes. He follows us and, and yeah, all that. He, so. did, he replies to our DMs. Okay. That's how it happened when he when he uh, when I met him up. I, I had planned like, all right, UFC's gonna be in Houston. I was like, I'm gonna get this shoe ready. I'm gonna DM Dana and see if he replies. And sure enough, I was like, hey Dana, I see you're in town. And I was like, I have some shoes I want to bring to you, like to the weigh-in or whatever. Bro, he's like, hey, bro, what's up, man? He's like, he sends me his address where he's staying at. And, like, I just met him up. That's what's up. That's but he had up. trust, obviously. To tell me where he's staying at. He was in the Grundle Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where he was, but. That's not. Very right. luxurious. That's spot. fire. But, yeah, he's cool. Oh, you, you're into UFC? You watch all that? Nah, I mean. Boxing or anything? I'm a huge boxing oh, fan. Oh, you're a boxing fan? Boxing, I mean, me and Mitch yeah, talk about yeah. boxing all the time. I mean, I like UFC. I'm not like a UFC hater, but I just could never really like lock in on it. Mm -hmm. but I like, was like that too. I ain't gonna lie. I just he like, hated it. For I hated moment. it for like. The <laughs> See, I never just hated it. I just no, he I, I it. never no, got. I never like, got into it. Takes no skill. He's like, they're not even fighting. I mean, <laughs> I I kind of like see. I can see. Who, I, can I you mean, give me one, Daniel? Yes. I can Diego, see. I can see what he means, though. I don't know. Man, but uh, yeah, no disrespect. <laughs> no, yeah. At the beginning, I hated it just because, like, I'm just. Well, you I have boxing matches that are worse. <laughs> Shakur, Shakur Stevenson. That, that Shakur oh, Stevenson fight has been the worst fight I've seen in my life. But <laughs> other than that fight, you know, like I seen a fight when, like, I think the Brock Lesnar fight where it was just nothing but grappling, and I from there I was just like, bro, I can't watch this shit. Like, thank you, doctor. Jamie? But the thing is, they have boxing within MMA, so. Yeah, but most of the people don't know how to, like, throw a properly punch because mm -hmm. they know how to throw a proper kick. You know what I mean? So it kind of, they kind of lack. But I will say this. In one I aspect. love Conor McGregor. Yeah, I don't too. care what nobody say. As a casual, yeah, I will watch all his fights. For real? Yeah, I, I will tune in. I yeah. love watching his, like, the 24 countdown. And because I, just, I love a character. Oh, he's a character. Yeah, he's bro. a show. Like, I, man, I love Conor McGregor. He's funny. He and Dana's seen it in him. He's like, I'm but he's funny as shit, bro. <laughs> like, all he'd do funny. was keep winning, and he was going to be what yeah, he that is. That whole Mayweather debacle was funny. Bro. He was making Mayweather feel like uh, just. Well, come on, dog. I could literally watch that over and over again on the press conference. Is he the one that took his hat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he took his hat. He, he took his he bag. He rubbed his head. He took his bag. What up, gang? He took his bag and he's like, We're still you open? Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that whole thing was funny. And I think, like, there was a lot of times where Mayweather didn't even have an answer for him. You know what I mean? It was on, like, the talking shit yeah, part, you know? Because he, he was like, twice, damn, like, he got me, dog. Is Mayweather really not a shit talker, though? He was. At, though, at he one was. point, he was the biggest shit talker, but then he, he just like it. Can, can, and he kind of humbled himself yeah. a little bit, but he used to talk shit bad about the Mexicans. Yeah. Back like, in the day, I I think once he like left Bob Arum in top rank, he kind of had to build a own name for himself, so he became the likeable. shit talker. Oh, you know okay. the the the. But then everybody liked him towards the end, right? Yeah, because they realized that it actually takes skill to you know be that good and not you know, just you know talking shit and running and whatnot. <laughs> But now he loves MMA. He's he he's thinking no, about yeah. getting a fight in the. I in love the, MMA the now. Really? That's just not. I be watching it, bro. I love. It's nice just because. Okay, so let's say if you had boxing, but the fights got made in two months. Like every boxing fight that you wanted to watch, got made in like two three months. Yeah, That's like the best does. fight, the best. Dana waits. To, he makes the best fighters fight each other at yeah. their prime. And boxing, you can't bro. Wait. Like, well, how long did we have to wait for Mayweather and Pacquiao? Like 18 years. Oh, so. shit. <laughs> bro, if Dana White is going to make that fight. Like, five, five years. <laughs> no, I think that's yeah, why, though. At I least think, probably. I think because UFC before, is. I think a little bit more longer than like that. Longer, probably a little longer. Like, he he made Connor right fight. by one person. Uh, it, so. Aldo, whenever he was Boxing is. Yeah. It's $300. There's no dodging in UFC. Yeah. And if you do dodge, then Dana's going to fucking. He's gonna sh like Fire strip you. you or something. No, he'll get rid of you. Yeah, yeah he will. If you don't want to fight, you, that's what he says. I'm always trying to put the best fights like mm -hmm. 
I'm not trying to build you up. Yeah, like but it's not like that in boxing. And I think no, that's no. what like really got me because th- what I really got intrigued was that Oliveira guy, and he was gonna fight this other dude, and that fight got made within like a month, and I was like, damn, that's the Islam. Yeah, I was like, damn, that was fast, bro. Like that dude literally just won the title, you know. And yeah. in boxing, like you'd have to wait probably like a good year or two. Do you think that if, was Eric's if, mindset? If that, you know. Eric's mindset, because we we promote Fury and. They're literally having like the biggest heavyweight clash. Like, this could be a UFC fight. Like, um, it's exactly. two of the biggest heavyweights. Like, they're like six eight and they're shit. They're both six yeah. eight. They're both super athletic. Like, it's going down when December what? December third. Make sure y'all tune in on that if one. If you ever want to pull up with it, like, to the fights. Let um, us know, bro. Well, let me know. What you mean? December third. Well, you know right you know, so Sunday, yeah. huh? December third, B. Where at? At the Apex Center. <laughs> Vegas? Nah. Nah, it's going to be here at Escapade. At Escapade. Imogen's uh, venue. You've been there? Escapade 2001? Yeah, yeah, I've never been there, actually. You know, no, you've know heard of it, though. Yeah, I know what it is. Everybody knows. <laughs> That's a Houston, uh, what is it? Not Stamp. A, landmark. It's landmark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Historic. Historic landmark. You, you remember that right back in the day? Yeah, it still be going down. All right, I will tell Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, do you think that was Eric's mindset putting that fight together? Like, why wait? Like, let's just get these guys. Bro, I was there when he was at, when uh, Miles was like the last event. Miles was like, I want that fight, and Eric and Rich were like, Look, you don't have to take this fight if you don't want to. Like, he's uh, he's trying to get to the UFC. He's a six eight Q. Miles was like, I want to fight him. He's like, We got to fight. Right, Miles is he's he's oh, about it. That's an MMA fight. MMA. Yeah, yeah, MMA. Oh, okay. So. December third is about to go crazy. Somebody's going down, right? They're going. Somebody they're both has undefeated. To go down. They both like Knockout have artists. never even. It's never been even a close fight. Like they're just For knocking either of their out. opponents. Like both of them are like t- with Deontay Wilder's basically, <laughs> right? Like <laughs> the last basically. fight. Yeah. The last fight I watched with the big Cuban, he literally the bell rung, walked up, threw a head kick. The guy kind of blocked it, but like didn't really. And he it went through his like. And it rocked. Like, and he got knocked out. Like it lasted five seconds. He has a the, the fastest knockout for Fury, right? Is that it? Yep. Nice. He just literally walked up through a head kick and it was done. But whenever you're down, let us know. It's gonna be the be- biggest, probably one of the biggest fight. And it's and one of their biggest shows, right, Diego? You would say? They always the for the they always end Never. up in December with, with a bang, bang right? right? That's like a tradition. I think so. Right. Yeah. So what do you think of the Benavides fight coming up? When does he fight? This Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. Oh, what? Yeah, November twenty. Andrade. It's my son's birthday. We're gonna have a fight party too. Nice. We're gonna have three parties. Friday, I have two. What? That's crazy. You yeah. a deal? Yeah, yeah, I'm a deal too. You have a kid too? Yeah, he has nah, two. Nah, I'm a deal. <laughs> 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 nah. I got a dog. Um, <laughs> no, I think better. I mean, I'm going for Benavides. And you going to the Ryan fight or no? I'm going to the Ryan Garcia fight, yeah. You are? Yeah. When is it? December 2nd. Oh, nice. shit. Oh, so the nice. next day we'll, we'll be oh, in Austin. Shit. We'll be in Austin. We got to come back the next day, though. Yeah. Or that same night, or? I don't know. We'll be in Austin for the UFC event? We'll be in Austin, sir. Houston hardly gets boxing, so I have to go. They will be yeah, ready to work hardly. December 2nd, sir. I think the last fight was that Munia fight, right? Probably like 2018, 2019, yep. or something like that. I see you rocking the Travis Lowe's. Where you get those? Dude? Travis Lowe's, like from sneakers. Oh. You hit? I didn't hit, but oh, they're okay, from okay, sneakers, okay. though. You, said, you actually told me the story once. You got it for the low, low, right? I got it for four. What? 400. DS? Yeah. Oh, sneakers receipt and everything. I still have it. That, was my, that How? person must have really liked you. Well, no, well <laughs> mind you, though, at the time, they were going for six. Okay. So Now there's. Two bands. Two bands. Sixteen hundred. Yeah. That's crazy. Who's seen that coming? Everybody thought the highs were finna go like crazy. The I, highs I want those now. I didn't care for those, but now I want a pair. I like these. They just go with everything. Yeah. I like I those. Hold on every day. So when are we gonna collab? Like that's where. The ninety three. I mean, we're still down. We, we've always talked about yeah. it. Right? <laughs> it's, 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 we just gotta come up with like a design. And mm-hmm. Talk to you, um, what's homie's name? Gustavo. Yes. Gustavo, and let's, let's make some yeah. shape. Yeah. We definitely need to run that. I'm down. Sure. You said your next drop is this Black Friday? 
Uh, well, the, those hoodies dropped last Friday. Boston. Oh, okay. The, the pre-order closes this Friday. Okay, okay, okay. And how long does it usually take to... Yeah. These shouldn't take that long. Probably like three. We always say three to six weeks. That's fair. Just to, yeah. That's not bad. No. Charles Scott. Um, so, uh, shout out that D93 on Instagram. D93, go follow him. <laughs> they got some merch. T-H-E-9-0. I, I still got the alien T-H-E-9-0. one. Oh, with yeah. The big alien. <laughs> what is they? Extra terrace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra ter- instead of for creative. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty dope. Um, y'all got any other questions for my guy? Mm. Ask away. When are you and Mitch going to spar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Mitch needs some, uh, he needs some, right. some teammates. I need that crew neck, though. Right, I got you. I don't, I don't own anything Supreme. Are no? you serious? No. I never knew that. Right. Supreme's yeah. like one of my favorite. I could never afford it. And also, I, mean, feel, I also it. feel like I can't fit into it. It's rare when Supreme makes 2X, but they do make 2X. It's, you know, I'm a big guy. No, they, I mean, they have some. Yeah, yeah they drop 2X. It just sells out like a month right away. Right? Yeah. That shit don't ever. That one looks like it'll fit. It'll fit? No, bro. Nah, it's, I don't think so. I think so. It's an XL. Well, I got one more question for you. What's up? I know what it is. <laughs> do you believe in <laughs> aliens? Um, or have you ever seen anything pop off in the sky? I have never experienced no. nothing. You seen a shooting star before or no? I have seen a shooting star. How do you know that really? wasn't? No. Yeah, I guess you're right. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen So it. how did the shooting star look? Because everybody, every time I ask someone if they've seen a shooting star, they tell me something different. And I've seen one before, but I just want to, like, what did yours look like? I mean, I've seen them many times. For real? Many, I've only seen times. it once in my life. Really? It was random as shit. And I made a wish right away. But you're right. I've never thought about like what that could be. But I've seen a shooting star. The way I knew because they say shooting stars they travel so fast that they change between like um, time like galaxies. um, No, between like time timelines or whatever. Oh, okay. Because you know if you go to faster than the speed of light, light years, then you like automatically like go to a different timeline or whatever. No, I'll but how did your look? Like, I'm just curious. It, I mean, it's just, it's just literally like. What color? You just like, see the line. Like, what color? What, you remember? Just white. Mine was like. Well, it was like crazy. Green I'm fire s- behind, like green, what blue. The, but like, you need to report that. What? That's <laughs> a meter. That was a meter. But it only <laughs> lasted for like two seconds. Like, it was like. What? And then it disappeared. Like, I've never seen a shooting star at night. So it was daytime? What? It was daytime. <laughs> what? Like, the sun was still out. You could see it. Oh, shit. I've seen cool. a black, like a little streak, you sure like a w- white streak. Those could be meteors, but uh, this is a like a shooting star that I like seeing. Like those were crazy. But you, do you believe in aliens? You never answered. I would say, I would say, yeah, but I, I'm I'm one like I'm the type like like I don't like dig deep into stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, I but you do. If you had a guess, that there's I would say maybe aliens most are, most likely, right? There's yeah. a billion stars in. I would say the aliens are so, real. So what do you believe in? Um, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Jesus in, uh, Christ. I believe, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 nah, I mean, yeah, I would say yeah, though. What are you talking about? Aliens? He don't believe because no. he... Uh, only, I don't believe in know. aliens like that, though, bro. Even though there's all this evidence, you know what I mean? Like... I was literally <laughs> listening to Joe Rogan this morning. You said, nah, I ain't never seen no alien or nothing. Does that have you ever seen um a fucking <laughs> Eiffel Tower? <laughs> have you seen ever, have you ever seen the Eiffel Tower in person? Yeah. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> said, Just because yeah. you never seen he it seen doesn't mean it's he I said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I seen pictures. Just because he never seen it doesn't mean it's not there. That's all I'm saying. Nah, I just think that like if they was real, they would already done came down here. They like, are. They just you don't. They're like under the water or like in the desert, or like inside. <laughs> no, the I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, spacecraft. They could travel from air to water, like, like it's regular. Man, but I don't know. I just don't think. You gotta open your mind, man. A double mermaids. mermaids? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you. No, yeah, imagine. You remember that movie? Mer- but you know, there's a whole thing about mermaids too, like conspiracy theories on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're mm-hmm. real. I mean, no, chill out. <laughs> yeah, they find corpses of like half human, like half fucking fish. They found corpses. Yeah, like. You had. To, you want me to look it up? Yeah, look uh, it up. Uh, we're uh, our fact checker here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And we have Google. Is it? 
Tip Damn, nah, you. So you know. never, you didn't know about this though. Like, Mermaids. Yeah, people are like. I, I, I've heard. There's but people know. out here really trying to study that, like, and find trying it. to study mermaids. You're trying to find. You them. never heard of Atlantis. You never seen Luca. Nah. Oh yeah, Luca, the movie with the pic- the Pixar film, right? Yeah, the kids like half mermaid. Like half if he goes to the water, he's a mermaid. Yeah, or a fish. He's a human <laughs> on land, and then when he gets, when water touches him, he turns into like a. I think I want to say I've seen. It. Is good. it older or no? No, it's no, it just oh, came nah. out. Never mind. It's good. Probably like three years ago, two years ago. Yeah. Nah, I don't. I don't believe in any of that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> none of that shit. I just believe, like, I just believe that, like, if all that stuff was existing, like, it would be mo- just like there's a lot of apes. You know what I mean? There's a lot of you know, there's a shitload of them hoes. There's a lot of tigers. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a shitload of tigers. How many tigers have you seen in person? <laughs> a shitload. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Where? He's at the zoo. At the zoo. <laughs> like, bro. I've seen a shitload of I'm tigers. I'm talking about just like you're talking about you see them every day. Like, I was nah, like, but like, I get what he's saying. He's saying if these were, if aliens were really this existent, there'd be more. I, I guess believable evidence because I, I feel like a lot of the evidence is tampered with it's still tampered with well of course the, the government you know how much don't money people know. make for making like fake like videos for aliens mind you he works at Space City where the mascot's a whole alien <laughs> <laughs> no 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 but I'm talking about like mermaids there's been and crashes like in Brazil of, we talked about it with Lucas and I mean Brazil has like one of the most like the UFO weirdest, yeah. crashes for some reason. Like that town had a multiple pl- multiple UFO pl- crashes. I think they're out there obviously because I mean, wh- why? Why are we the only ones here? There's millions of billions of stars in the universe, and like they all have planets rotating around them. Obviously, we can't reach them because they're light years away. But they're you just. So you think there's civilization in those other little planets? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think they've been I'm here. open to everything. Like, not, I not think like they've that, been here. I mean, I'm open to like listening. I literally you know? I listened to Joe Rogan this morning, and it was his newest episode with the with the rock. With the you seen they got beef? Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually oh, listened to that one. They got beef. Joe Rogan. The rock yeah, I listened to that one. Joe Rogan beat his ass. That was good. Joe Rogan fight, huh? Yeah, he knows. I him. literally listened to that one two days ago, but the one this morning that he dropped was a uh, uh, ex Air Force guy. This nine point six hidden. For real. I don't know. I don't, bro. I just can't. But he's a whistleblower and he's blowing the fucking whistle that fucking aliens are real. And they're here. So why do you think people are like, even though you blow the whistle, people are like, nah, fuck that. No, no. Like, why do you think that? Because like, of people like you? Why else? But like, because you refuse to just. But there isn't believe. like, you you, there isn't like solid evidence that you can you be like. You haven't heard of all these UFO crashes around the world? Oh, yeah. I've heard of them, but you know, there's not like. Where you be like, hey, look, this is a UFO. I'm right here. Hey, we're gonna they have Mr. recovered <laughs> material that they try to back engineer within the military. I, I just think there's like, something deeper I, going on than that. Like, I don't know. Or like, that, that doesn't exist. They, so they don't even know to. if they came from a different dimension or a different planet. You know, there's we different tell dimensions. We can Geo mm-hmm. really cares about this. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I'm trying to open everybody's mind. Like, no, we're not alone. This one. I mean, okay, okay, okay. So, if so what if you go your whole life without ever seeing an alien? Are you still gonna believe that they're there? I could go the whole my whole life without. I've never seen the twin towers. I don't mean they they weren't there. I mean, I mean but yeah, I but that's something that. materialistic that was actually like <laughs> recordedly there. You know what I mean? By what, but, what about all these UFO crashes that they recovered? No, but like you and can they literally you, recovered. You a, can literally go to like or could have gone to the twin towers and drive up there to the Eiffel can. Tower. They have like a memorial. Yeah, or whatever, and be like, this was here, or this is here, or like go somewhere. But you can't be like, hey, do that with aliens. You know what I mean? You can't like go up there and be like, hey, like you could go to Area Fifty Two and see. They won't let you the fuck you in. Just get shot <laughs> in that. Or Area 51, that they're not going to let you in there because there's shit that they don't want you to know about. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, it's, it's I'm, just. I'm losing brain cells here. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nah, yeah. the beer that's coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, like the dudes in Mexico that un- uncovered them two aliens. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is that? Diego, you're a, a Marine, right? Oh, he's about I to mean, did some y'all beans. get any classification on, on He's not going to tell you he did. He's, he better <laughs> tell us. He's obligated. It's against his code to talk about this. Because yeah. yeah. it's already past my end. Thank you, sir. But y'all should listen to Joe Rogan, the last yeah. episode that he just had. So what do you believe, Diego, if you were in the Marines and all that? Uh, I believe there's something out there. What Fuck. I mean, you, it would be crazy <laughs> not to think that, right? Damn, why? You must have saw something, dog. <laughs> you must have saw something. <laughs> 
He saw that big ass mermaid that came. <laughs> <laughs> merman. Merman. Hey, what's that movie called where that where that guy falls in love with a mermaid and he has her in his bathtub and he's like trying to keep her alive? Like Tom Hanks, right? Like yeah. What? Yes. It's so I realistic, bro. Yeah. So what? Like, I yes, see the Disney bro. He falls in love because like the mermaid. Tom Hanks did a movie where he, he, she was pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. yeah. No. And what was he, her name Ariel? He <laughs> saved her, right? Like uh, something like that. What's and the he had her called? in his bathtub, bro. Like, like. I think I remember life. watching that for some reason. I'm kind of <laughs> intrigued. <laughs> but if aliens are out there, who's to say there's no mermaids out there? Why we not? know more about Mars see, than we know the, about our own ocean. No way, bro. Yeah. See, see, that's the there thing. Ain't Mars, that's the thing. If <laughs> there's aliens out there, then there's for sure fucking mermaids and, <laughs> and fucking like octopuses. Well, there's wolfmans out there too. Yeah, bro. Octopuses. Have you ever heard about feet? this island off of Florida that had literally little trolls? Like little fucking humans. Mm mm. Yeah, I should look that one up too. <laughs> <laughs> because they say like Stop their surroundings, right. like the smaller you, like the island you are, then you adapt to like what's around you type shit. Huh. That's crazy, bro. We need to have somebody like uh, on You can fact take all this shit. shit. I nah, promise you. I've, I've listened to ma- many podcasts on there. All this shit. We know who stands up late of. on this phone. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, please pull it up. No, I'm kidding. Fact check me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Splash is the name of hey, so, <laughs> man, okay. if yeah. this shit is, like, so, like, news out there like that, like, why doesn't it get headlines like it's supposed because to? Because they don't want to. Oh, why don't they come say what's up? Because that niggas would trip out and shoot their guns at them. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> right, like, you, you shot me down. <laughs> you ever watch that show Orville? Orville? Nah. Orville. <laughs> that is sounds that? good, though. No, it's a... It's a, uh, well, it's a TV show that was, uh, had, like, they're in the future, but they travel through the space to mm-hmm. visit these planets, and the like. reason why they say that is because they don't want to contaminate the nature, the, the, the growth, the actual ecosystem. Of yeah, it's because, um... Planet. So they don't want to interrupt anything? Yeah, they don't want to interrupt, or they, want, they don't want to speed up because people won't understand it the science of it and then people will steal from it and it'll be it'll create chaos yeah mm-hmm. there's a couple so of episodes that focuses on that that's okay, crazy. actually a pretty good show so, so yeah do y'all think that people that create these episodes and to think like that and all that shit have something to do or like have know. ever that's seen the thing with movies i, don't I think so. something a like that true about something. i know every movie i feel that I, not every but like i watch movies and i'm like that how, did, how did this all, all come about yeah, this it must be <laughs> a possible right yeah that's what I'd be thinking. I'd be thinking about that too, like how, There's like because just just right. the way like movies and shows projected over the years, you know what I mean? You'd be like, bro, how did you even come to a conclusion that this could be possible in any right. any world? You know what I mean? But it's crazy. Yeah. You see Men in Black? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What else you need to know, Mitch? <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna rip your face off, and there's a little alien right there. So one of the yeah. stories that Joe Rogan told on his podcast was like. You know how you keep your car outside for like a long time, like in the sun, yeah. that it will like discolor, like the whole thing, like your your headlights will get foggy, the paint will start looking like discolored. Mm-hmm. So there a dry a homie was driving from his house to work, and there's like a a spaceship like on top of him following him, that all all the radiation coming off like the spacecraft, made his car look like a brand new car, to like it sat in the sun for ten years like. Like it happened like in one drive in thirty minutes. It's because of all the radiation and that the these spacecrafts like have. You know we have radiation in our phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything that has a battery has yeah. radiation. Mm-hmm. So these beings are so advanced. They're using so much radiation that from thirty minutes they made it this car this color from like looking like if it, if it sat in the sun for ten years, but just in thirty minutes. Like. And that, this is a true story. Yeah, it came from like a. Uh, Air Force guy, like he worked for the Air Force. That makes sense. Yeah. Scientifically, that makes sense. Yeah, there is no other explanation. Like, that. It rested that whole out or what? It no, just made it, it look like it sat in the sun for like ten years. Like, let's say it was red and it just looks pink and like, mm. like, which is like, that's another little like story that, like that Joe Rogan podcast just dropped this morning, and I just I always listen to him, especially when it's shit like that, like whistleblowers and like, people yeah, from the I Navy, like. Podcast. 
telling the freaking government like I'm done working for you like I want to bring this to the the public or whatever but they can only say so much yeah right? uh, like in between the podcast he was like I don't have clearance for that so I can't even speak on that like you have only have clearance at a certain level that you can't even like say anything well no, I'm sure they'll Diego take you knows. out yeah they'll, they'll literally kill you mm-hmm be yeah. careful, Gio. Stop watching Joe Rogan. <laughs> For real. I'm, I love what he's doing. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know, man. Joe Rogan. He's gonna get. He's gonna get taken. Out. He's for sure on like their like list of like. I'm keeping the eye on mm-hmm. him. FBI list. Him and Alex. Uh, Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Me go fan about to be on that list. On this podcast, talking about aliens. Yeah. With, I don't care. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's about a wrap, huh? What we got coming up? Black Sneaker Friday Con. deals. Sneaker, Sneaker Con, Con December 9th. You should go to Sneaker Con because you could connect with Hat Club there. Oh, so can, can, y'all, can y'all get me in? Yeah. Yeah. Can you? Over? Yeah. We should be able to. We, uh, we usually have the plug. The guy that um, runs uh, the uh, whole uh, Sneaker Con. Like, like for real though, I can, I can just ride with y'all. Like, yeah. Whenever, I can get there. You're going to you're gonna work with us? I'm down. He's going to be in some Vegas, shit in your so car then? I'll do, huh? Can we fit some shit in your car then? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you ride passenger. Shawnee. <laughs> yeah, nah. That's bad. No, it come through. Yeah, I'll, I'll work. It's going to be a movie. It's the first time they're doing Sneaker We're Con. We're having that boy like T as a guest. Doe Man. Um, Bo Bundy. I've uh, never been to Sneaker Hopefully Adrian Young. You've never been to Sneaker No? Oh, I'm lying. I, I have San Antonio. Oh, okay. But here, I've never. You've never been to when they, they haven't came, came in like six years. Yeah, I remember when they came. I didn't. I didn't make it. Damn. I, yeah, well, after we wrap, wrap this up, uh, we could talk about me oh, pulling yeah, up with y'all. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Before uh, we get out of here, let us let our like, followers know where to find. They can you. find you. Please follow me on TikTok, Miguel O Fam. That's Miguel O H F A M. That's also on Instagram. Please follow me on both. Trying, um, trying to build my social media Facebook for where can we find you <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me on Facebook I don't care but I need TikTok and IG follow me okay. and also follow my business page on Instagram the 93 the 93 that's T-H-E 90 T-H-R-E-E and a uh, big drop coming with Big City you heard it here first yeah I do have a Space hat City podcast. I do have a hat coming out Hopefully in January. Hopefully I get a friends and family. <laughs> yeah, we do too. Thank you. Thank you for kicking it with Space City. Appreciate yeah. y'all for having Peace. me, man. Right, Thank y'all. Bro. All right. Thank All you, day. Miguel. Peace. We love yo, yo, what up, man? It's Dope Man, the body of God. And right now you kicking it with Space City Collective right in the Southeast. You're now kicking it with Space City. That's right. Yo, yo, what's going down? It's that boy T, the screwed up SA. And you now kicking it with Space City Podcast.